Hey everyone, welcome back. You ever get lost in those like dreamy furniture catalogs, you know, and you fall in love with the piece and then <laughs> you see the price tag and it's like, whoa. Oh yeah. Like sticker shock. That's what we're talking about today. Absolutely. We're diving deep into a designer piece, the R House Reden Counter Stool. Okay. And this thing is beautiful, but it's over a thousand dollars. So we're gonna see if we can find a dupe that <laughs> You know, it gives us that same look, but without completely emptying our wallets, we're checking out the Nautica Ashley counter school nice. to see if it can really measure up. But first, let's talk about like what makes the Redan so special. You know, I was reading all these online reviews and people are just gushing about this stool. They're saying it's got the looks, the comfort, and it's built to last. Like, what's the secret sauce here? Well, the Rodin really is more than just a pretty face. It's all about the quality and the design. Mm -hmm. A big part of that price tag comes from the frame, which is... Handcrafted Italian ashwood. Okay, so ashwood. Is that like what makes it so special? Yeah, ash is known for being super strong and durable. Yeah. Which is important for furniture that's going to get a lot of use, right? Right. Especially in a busy kitchen. Right. I mean, think about it. Spills, bumps, maybe even a pet or a kid climbing all over it. Ash can handle it all. That's good. It's also really resistant to scratches and dents, so it's going to keep looking good for a long time. Mm -hmm. Plus, it has this beautiful grain that adds a natural touch and makes each piece unique. It's not just tough, it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the fabric. They use something called Matera Performance Fabric, which honestly sounds kind of high tech. What's so great about that? Performance fabrics have really changed the game, especially when it comes to furniture that gets a lot of use. Matera is known for being really tough and easy to clean. The skulls just beat up on the surface so you can easily wipe them away. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, no more scrubbing at stains. Yeah. It means your stools will look new for much longer. I love easy to clean. Right. Saves you time and stress. Okay. One more thing about the Rodan. I noticed it has rubber webbing in the frame, mm. which I thought was kind of interesting. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but I guess it makes a difference in terms of comfort. It really does. That's a great example of how our house pays attention to every little detail. That rubber webbing is there to give you extra support and flexibility. So it kind of conforms to your body when you sit and distributes your weight evenly. Oh, it means you can sit comfortably at your counter for longer, whether you're having a long breakfast or chatting with friends over coffee. That's really smart. So they really have thought of everything. But the big question is, can the Nautica Ashley at a fraction of the price even come close to this level of design and functionality? All right, first impressions. The Nautica definitely has that minimalist look similar to the Rodan, very clean and sleek. And at $229.99, it's looking pretty good for anyone on a budget. But when you look closer, there are some differences. Yeah, for sure. What do you see? Well, the finish is definitely different. The Nautica actually has a more weathered, rustic kind of look, yeah. like something you'd find in a farmhouse. Mm. It's a different vibe than the Rodan's more elegant style. Right, and the materials are also totally different. The Nautica uses polyester upholstery, which is pretty common and usually less expensive. And they don't say what the frame is made of, so probably not hardwood like the Rodin's ashwood. Right, and that's a big thing to think about. The materials make a difference in how long the piece will last and how it feels. Yeah, definitely. Our house chose really high quality materials for that luxurious feel and to make sure it lasts. But with the Nautica, they were going for affordability. Makes sense. Which might mean they had to make compromises in other areas. All right, so let's compare them head to head, starting with dimensions. They are almost exactly the same size. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they'll take up the same amount of space in your kitchen. Design-wise, they both have that nice curved backrest and the padded seats. But the different finishes give them a completely different aesthetic. Now, what about those materials? Okay. What do those differences mean for you in terms of how long these stools will last and how comfortable they'll be? Yeah. Well, that's where the trade-offs really come in. Mm -hmm. We talked about the ash wood and that performance fabric on the Rodan. Those are meant to handle everyday use. Right. But the Nautica's polyester and the mystery frame material, they might not hold up as well, especially if you're using them a lot. And remember that special rubber webbing in the Rodan that adds extra comfort. You won't find that in the Nautica. So is the Nautica Ashley a true Rodan dupe? Hmm. Well, visually, it does have some of the same elements, especially that minimalist look. Yeah. And the price is definitely attractive. Yeah. But you might be giving up some of the durability and comfort that our house put so much effort into with the Rodan. Tough choices. So if someone is deciding between the our house Rodan and the Nautica Ashley, what are the main things to consider? Well, it really depends on your priorities and how you plan to use the stools. Okay. If you want 
a piece that will last for years mm. and be super comfortable even with heavy use, then the Rodin might be a better choice, even though it's more expensive. Right. But if you're on a budget and need something stylish for a less demanding space, like a weekend home or a part of your kitchen, you don't use as much. The Nautica Ashley could be a good option. And here's something interesting to think about. When we're talking about furniture, value isn't just about the price tag. Exactly. A piece that lasts longer could actually save you money over time. That's true. You have to think long term and consider how much it costs per use. Sometimes it's worth spending a bit more upfront to get something high quality. It could save you money and headaches later. And sometimes a budget-friendly option is the way to go. It really depends on what works best for you and your budget. Yeah, for sure. That's what this whole deep dive is about, right? <laughs> Giving you the information and different perspectives so you can make the best decision for you. But before we move on, there's one more thing to think about, and that's the finish. Oh, yeah. The finish is important. It can really make or break the look of a piece. And that's where personal style comes in. With the Our House for Day, you have all these different finish options for that ashwood frame. You can go with something rich and warm or sleek and modern. So many choices. And then with the Nautica Ashley, you have that signature weathered look, like it's a vintage piece. I love that description. It's like the Rodin is all dressed up for a night out and the Nautica is ready for a relaxing weekend at a farmhouse. That's a great way to put it. And it makes me think about how furniture isn't just about being functional. It's also about the feeling it creates in a space. Definitely. Your furniture reflects your personality. It tells a story about you. Exactly. Like if you have a modern minimalist space, the Rodin's sleek finishes would fit right in. I can see that. But if you prefer a more rustic, relaxed vibe, the Nautica's weathered finish might be more your style. It's amazing how those details, like the materials and the finish, can completely change the look and feel of a room. They really can. And you know, this whole conversation reminds me of a time I bought a sofa online, just based on a picture. And let's just say it wasn't the most comfortable thing. Oh, I think we've all been there. Yeah. It's easy to get caught up in how something looks, but you have to think about the practical side, too. For sure. Like, how comfortable is it? Is it the right size? Will it hold up to everyday use? It's like dating looks aren't everything. Exactly. You got to look a little deeper. Right. And that's why it's so important to do your research. Okay. Read reviews, check out different brands and materials, and don't be afraid to ask questions. A good salesperson can be really helpful. That's true. Speaking of resources, I found this website that explains all these different furniture construction techniques. Oh, cool. I had no idea. There were so many ways to build a chair. It's really interesting how the construction affects the durability. It's like a whole secret world. It is. Once you understand those techniques, you can tell if a piece is good quality or not. Exactly. For example, look for things like dovetail joints or mortise and tenon construction. Those are signs of quality craftsmanship. Oh, okay. I'll keep an eye out for those. Yeah. And try to avoid pieces that are just held together with staples or glue. They tend to fall apart faster. Good to know. This deep dive has really reminded me that knowledge is power when it comes to furniture shopping. It really is. It's not just about finding something that looks good. It's about making a smart investment that you'll love for years. Exactly. It's about making choices that work for your lifestyle, your budget, and your style. And remembering that value isn't just about the price tag. Right. Sometimes spending a little more upfront for a well-made piece can actually save you money in the long run. Yeah, because you won't have to replace it as quickly. Exactly. And sometimes a budget-friendly find is the perfect choice. It all comes down to being a smart shopper and knowing what to look for. Couldn't agree more. So as we wrap up our look at the Arhas Rodin and the Nautica Ashley, let's think about you, the listener. What stands out to you now after hearing all about these two counter stools? What would be the deciding factor for you? Yeah, it's like we've taken you behind the scenes, showing you how these pieces are made, all the thought that goes into them. Right. Now it's up to you to decide what's important to you. Maybe you love the idea of having a piece that will last forever, something you can even pass down to your kids. Yeah, a real heirloom piece. If that's you, then the Rodin with its handcrafted wood and those amazing fabrics, that might be the one. Or maybe you need something more practical, like for a busy family home. Where there are bound to be spills and accidents. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or maybe for a vacation rental where you need something durable. That's when the Nautica Ashley, with its lower price and easy-to-clean materials, might make more sense. Right. And then there's personal style. If you're going for that modern, elegant look, yeah. the Rodin's sleek lines and those beautiful finishes might be perfect. But if you're more into that cozy farmhouse vibe, the Nautica's weathered finish 
could be just what you need. So many options. It is a lot to consider. And there really is no right or wrong answer. It's all about finding what makes you happy and fits into your life. Maybe you splurge on a couple of rodents for your kitchen island. And then get the Nautica Ashleys for your breakfast nook. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Mix and match. Yeah, yeah. why not? Or maybe you'll find a totally different brand or style that you like even more. So many possibilities. The important thing is that you have the knowledge now. You know what to look for. Exactly. We've given you the tools to decode the furniture world. To figure out what's good quality. And to make choices that work for you. So go out there and find the perfect pieces for your home. Have fun with it. And remember, we'll be back with more deep dives, exploring all kinds of furniture styles and brands. Always here to help you make the best choices for your space. Until then, happy decorating everyone's house.